About 15 years ago, I was amidst some very ambitious people. We were all young and we all wanted to achieve greatness in life. We gathered often to read. We read a lot and got a lot of excitement about what we were learning. About 11 years ago, we departed from school. I decided to stop school because I wanted to be in the real world. Try things, make mistakes and figure out how to succeed. Most of my friends decided to have degrees and not only that, they decided to continue reading. One decade after I got my hands dirty in the real world, most of these people are still reading and know the reason for that. You see, knowledge is sweet and could be addictive. The more you learn, the more you want to learn and before you know it, learning becomes your work and that shouldn't be. Learning, of course, should never be your work. Learning should be the light for your feet so that you'll know where to put your feet in the journey of life. The reason why I think some people need to stop watching our YouTube videos and many other videos on YouTube is that it's extremely easy and sweet to acquire knowledge and everything sweet could be addictive and that's not what you want. Think about my friends I told you about earlier. They read and read and read. The more they read, the happier they become because at least when they meet other people, they appear to know what most people don't know. But that's not or should not be the goal of learning. Knowledge is not the goal of learning. Action is the goal of learning and in fact, the action is what makes you truly knowledgeable. Failure is a real teacher. Let me tell you this story. You see, when I decided that I will not be an employee for 30 years of my life, I knew that I needed to learn, unlearn and learn again. I knew that I had to read as if my life depended on it and that was what I did. At a time in my 20s, I was reading as much as 50 books every year, mostly about money and entrepreneurship. So, when on July 24, 2008, I decided to go fully into the business world, it was just normal that I thought I had known a lot of things about entrepreneurship. No, I didn't stop reading because I thought I had known, I only had a lot of confidence in my ability to perform some miracles in the business world. However, two years after I've been to the business world, I looked back and saw how much I've learned in two years of mistakes and failures and comparing that to what I learned from reading hundreds of books, I can tell you, failures are the real teachers. I don't care how much you read about entrepreneurship. This channel has more than 500 videos as of now. If you like to go and watch all of those videos and watch every other entrepreneurship video you find on YouTube, if you don't get out to get your hands to burn, you will not understand how entrepreneurship works. I don't know, maybe everyone watching this video will understand the point I'm trying to make. But let me try it by using a few analogies. Let's assume that you want to buy a car. So, you need to learn how to drive a car. Is it good if you can read a few things about driving on the internet? Yes. Could it be good if you can read a little book about road signs, the psychology of driving and so on? Yes. Is it good if you can go to a driving school and get an experienced driver to teach you how to drive? Yes. But you know something? You'll never become a driver by reading a hundred books about driving. You'll never become a driver by watching every video about driving on YouTube. You'll never become a driver even if the most experienced driver in the world teaches you how to drive. You'll only become a driver by sitting down with the steering and driving. Until you drive, you can't truly learn how to drive and that's what most people don't understand about entrepreneurship. You can never become an entrepreneur by reading all the books of Robert Kiyosaki. You won't become an entrepreneur by reading a thousand books about entrepreneurship. You won't even become an entrepreneur by watching all the videos on this channel. You don't know anything until you do it. You won't have knowledge about anything until you do it make mistakes and try again. Failure, in my opinion, is the real teacher in any field. Why do we fear failure so much? I have a 14-month-old daughter who is just learning how to pronounce a few words. For now, she tries to pronounce water, baby, banana and a few other things. And as you have guessed, she makes mistakes every time she tries but she doesn't feel as though she's making mistakes. Well, if she had felt that she was making mistakes, she would never have walked or even learned how to eat because she had to make a lot of mistakes before she could do those things. If by making mistakes we learn how to sit, eat, walk or even talk, 
By making mistakes and failing, we learn how to write and how to live. The point here is simple: we don't learn anything except we make mistakes. So, if we don't learn anything except we make mistakes, why do we hate to make mistakes? I find great pleasure in blaming our school system. So let me do it again. You see, the first time most people know that mistakes are a bad thing is usually in school. School pretends to be given education, yet school condemns mistakes. In fact, until a recent time in my country, your report cards were written with a red pen on the subjects you scored lower than expected. Who doesn't know that red means danger? So, if mistakes are frowned at in school, how can we truly give education? So what happens to most people is that after they spend 18 to 20 years in school and get condemned every week of those years, they just naturally hate to make mistakes, and that's why most people would rather watch videos about money and entrepreneurship than get out and make mistakes. My message: I understand that the human nature usually moves from one extreme to another. I understand that when some people watch this video, they would say, "Okay, I'll never waste my time to read books again." I'll just go and do whatever I want to do. That again is another extreme, and that's not what I'm preaching in this video. For you to know that I don't preach against seeking knowledge, and as at the time of making this video, I read one book every week. I think most human beings don't read as much as I do, so I can't preach against knowledge. What am I preaching against? I preach against getting knowledge for the sake of knowledge. I preach against becoming a knowledge addict. I preach against the people who consume books, audios, and video teachings, and do nothing about the knowledge. For such people, I tell you, you'll be better off to unsubscribe from all the entrepreneurship channels you follow on YouTube, including this channel, and go and make some mistakes rather than continue enjoying the knowledge which you do nothing about. If you try to do something without learning about it, your chances of success is 10%. If you learn about something, And take no actions, your chances of success is zero. If you learn a lot and do a lot, your chances of success is 90%. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you like this channel, we're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV, where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV, where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV, which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.